Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So this real quick video is for my 11th grade class and the purpose of this video guys is for me to give you the instructions of what we're going to be doing this week for chemistry, all right? So um, for chemistry, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, because of course we're still continuing with our block scheduling, I'm going to give you the details of what we're going to do with that and then I'm also going to give you the details of what we're going to do with math, all right? So let me start off with chemistry real quick. So chemistry, Monday, you guys are going to read page 191 through 197 and you're going to answer the formative assessments. Um, you're not going to do all of the questions. Uh, if you have any doubts on which questions you're going to answer, please go to your weekly planner where, where it will be specified. Okay. Um, secondly, ladies and gentlemen, on Wednesday for chemistry, you are actually going to go to page 199 and you're going to define find all of the key terms that are on page 199 okay so if you go to page 199 it says a summary to the left you have a summary of the chapter and then to the right you have the key terms so what you guys are going to do is you're actually going to define all the key terms on page 199 after that Friday's work. So by Friday, I am going to post your home test on chapter six onto the LMS. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to post a link. That link is going to take you to the test, which is going to be a Word document. The test is going to be very simple. It's going to be a multiple choice and a true or false. Now, the true or false on the test is not modified true or false. It's simply a true or false. So my suggestion is that when you work on the true or false part, um, go to the chapter summary, okay, because most of those questions are based on the chapter summary that is on page 199, okay? So once again, real quick before I go with math, Monday, you're going to read page 191 through 197, and you're going to answer the formative assessment for chemistry. Wednesday, you're going to go to page 199, where it says chapter summary, and to the right, you have all the key terms. You're going to type up and define all of the key terms. Then on Friday, on your LMS, you're going to find a link. That link is going to take you to the test on chapter 6. To answer the true or false part of your test, you're going to go to page 199 in the chapter summary, and that's going to give you an idea of how to answer that part. Now, speaking of your test, when are you going to email me that test, or when are you going to answer it? So it's a Word document. Document, which means you can work on it online without having to print out the exam or without having to um, write in a separate sheet or send me a picture. It's a Word document, which means that it's a multiple choice, so you can just type in the letter for your answer. And the second part is a true or false, which you can also type in true or false. You don't have to modify it. You're going to have one week to answer and email that exam, which means that exam is going to be posted on April the 17th and you have one week until April the 24th to email me that exam. Okay. Now we're done with chemistry. So this next part is going to be talking about math. Math, you also have a quiz that I'm going to post on the LMS starting this Tuesday. Okay. And that quiz is on section 6.2. So you're going to go to the LMS on Tuesday, section 6.2, you're going to click on the quiz and you're going to start answering it, all right? Now, you're, that is going to be your math work for the entire week, which means you have all week to work on the math quiz and you're going to email me that quiz by Saturday, April the 18th. Now, I am going to post another video later on during the week specifying to which email you're going to send me your chemistry work and to which email you're going to send me your math quiz because I want to separate them in order to correct them uh, properly. So ladies and gentlemen, if you do have any questions, I will be available on the virtual classroom this Tuesday from 9 to 10 and also feel free to text me. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe and we'll see you very soon. Bye.